Hello and welcome to my review of Pac-Man ROM. This is Pac-Man, is 4.4.2 KitKat. Pac-Man is a hodgepodge, a mix of uh, Pac of I'm sorry, AOKP, Cyogen Mod, and Paranoid Android, and they will outline uh, the versions that they're pulling from for you. This is the current uh, build date of Friday, March 7th, 2014. You will also notice for this video I am using the Furnace Kernel uh, version 1.7.2 to note that's the only version of Furnace or any other kernel for that matter that I've gotten to work with this ROM. And one of the things that it does is it allows it to be able to reboot and not go back into the settings and have to go to display every time and uncheck this box and recheck this box because that's what happens when you reboot the phone with the stock kernel. At least that's the way it's been on the nightlies that I have been on. Um, it may have changed uh, with today's nightly but I have not installed it. One, I got tired of having to redo uh, my home screens when I do Textroider. So uh, I kind of limit myself with these nightlies now. It's, it's just, you know, I don't mind doing it a couple times, but you know, resetting up my home screen every time for the same ROM, well, that's, yeah. Anyways, going through this, uh, again, as you can see, like I said, it's working on Furnace Kernel. We're going to go through the settings real quick because there are quite a few in here. Uh, first and foremost, let me go ahead and let you know ahead of time that there is no Pi, there is no Halo, and everybody knows tablet mode is gone, uh, you know, from uh, Android versus 4.3 or higher. So don't look for those, those uh, features because they're not going to be in Pac-Man ROM, which are some of the things that I have had people ask me uh, quite a few times, and I've volunteered that information for them. Go to the last screen right here. When we go to the lock screen, you've got your usual uh, customizations here. You've got your slider shortcuts. You've got button actions. You've got uh, battery status, custom widgets, camera widget. So you can turn off the camera widget from the lock screen. The clock widget, uh, maximize widgets, glow pad, double tap gesture. Um, that eliminates uh, double tap to sleep from the home screen. Or from the lock screen, I'm sorry, from the lock screen. Interestingly enough, uh, I enabled it during my test today, and oh, that's great. Continuing on, let's see. We're going to go through here, and you see, uh, again, as I was saying, glow pad, when I enabled that today, it got rid of the double tap on the lock screen to sleep, and I haven't been able to get it to come back. We'll try it after another reboot because uh, I have noticed some other things that have been uh, coming along as this ROM continues to set in and settle in. Um, for instance, uh, when we get to A2DP, uh, there were some things that happened that didn't happen initially. So we're going through this. You got your pack in black, which I didn't test because I did not download uh, TARDIS capable. Gaps package. You got your themes. I didn't test themes, but the support is there. Pack pellets is where you'll find most of your controls or your customizations. Status bar. Again, I went through these and told you what they were in the install video, so I'm going to try and be brief through here and try not to make this a 20 minute video. Um, but everything in here that I went through worked fine. Customization progress bar. You can already see I've changed it. Uh, that works. There are some apps that have their own preferences set for the uh, progress bar, and so it won't work in those, but uh, places like the Play Store, it works fine. Your quick settings, you'll see here. Uh, that's your quick pull down. There you go. Um, they work just fine. You can see it even keeps that custom background back there. Had no problems whatsoever. Same thing with the notification drawer. You got some settings there. Lock screen notifications. I do use this. Do note that if you change the clock size or if you change the widget on the front, you can offset the notifications. Uh, very useful and you can hide low priority and hide non-clearable. Also very useful because I don't want there to be a reminder on my screen that um, there's an available Wi-Fi network or there is a um, keyboard change option. I don't want to see that. Active display, it does work. I had no problems with it. I used it for 
probably 20 minutes to be honest with you because I don't use it very often uh, so I can't comment on the uh, power that it uses. App bar, I tested app bar. Um, I'm not a big fan of app bar but it works in this uh, ROM here. Gesture Anywhere, I also tested Gesture Anywhere, that worked. Identicons, this is interesting and I did test it as you can see it's turned on and it'll give your contacts that don't have icons, it'll give them an icon, it'll give them a little picture. Uh, you know, gimmicky, but it's 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 different. You might like it. Uh, I did use it, and uh, you know, whatever, something different. You got your, you got some more customizations in here. You can go through. I didn't change a whole lot there. Uh, it, build prop, unlike um, some other ROMs I've tested, but the build prop editor is built into it, like Paranoid Android. You cannot change your DPI from here. At least I didn't see where you could. Weather. This was interesting. It works 80% of the time. Weather. I enable it. I'm going to tell it, see if it actually works this time. Tell it to get the weather. And let's see if it works this time. Okay, see, it works. Uh, sometimes you pull down and it's just a bunch of lines right here. It's like three offset lines and a couple dots. And uh, I have to turn it off and turn it back on to get to, to continue to show. But actually, I do like this. I just want it to work better. Recent apps panel, of course you know what that is. There you go. You can see your nice little RAM bar there. Okay. Span desktop style. Obviously, you see I'm using it. Disable uh, in lock screen. Let's see navigation dimensions. I did use that as well. You can change the height of the navigation bar and in the navigation bar. Speaking of, you can change what the uh, double tapping and long pressing, and you can actually change the icons too. Uh, for instance, I've changed the home button to also sleep the phone which isn't a big deal um, because I also have the uh, swipe up set for the same thing so but it's there navigation ring again it's there left handed mode I didn't test because I'm not left handed suspend actions and wake lock blocker um, let's talk about battery life here in just a moment and we'll talk about that wake lock blocker Pack console, don't even bother with it right now because, uh, at least in this nightly, it's not actually grabbing the available updates. You have to still do them manually. No loss, not a big deal. You know how to flash a ROM if you flash in this, so you know how to dirty flash to update. And, you know, these centers here are very convenient, uh, but not 100% necess not necessary. So, if you know you're looking for nightlies, you'll know where to go. Sound options, there are no sound packs in here, so you don't see that. Uh, which again, that's an Omni-ROM feature, so I wasn't expecting to see that, but it is there. You do have some volume uh, steps, which I do like, and you do notice um, the difference in how the volume uh, steps, you know, when you press the volume up and press the volume down, you do see that it changes how much it actually affects that volume. Uh, so that's nice, it gives you greater control over how many times you can press the button, uh, the volume buttons, and, and how loud and how low it's going to get. Quiet hours works. Uh, music effects is fine, I, you know. I used it with Google Play Music and, and had no problems. And you got your standard settings there. You can also disable your camera shutter sound from there as well. I showed you the displays, function buttons, uh, nothing really new in here. We'll go to more, and that's interesting that it's doing that. It has not done that before. Anyways, as you, again, you can see nothing really big in here in the more section. And just so you do know, it does work on art. And normally, I'm back on Dalvik by now, but I switched to art a little later in the game to test it. And so I'm still using art for right now. I have a backup with Dalvik. Um, as you can see, uh, the Omni Switch does work. Going through here, let's go to the gallery and let's talk about battery life. The phone does not sleep according to battery stats, but the battery stats are wrong. I'll tell you how I know that. Uh, the phone clearly sleeps because I did some pretty extensive testing here. I have um, the, walk th the wake lock detector set up to only run uh, when it's unplugged. And um, oh, what was that all about? Uh, okay. Anyways, 10 hours unplugged overnight from 100%, and it's still at 99%. So clearly the phone is sleeping. Uh, combat Android 32% using 1% of the battery. 
and you can see this here, okay? And what does it say? It says that it's awake the whole time on Wi-Fi. Screen's not on very much. I woke up in the middle of the night. I do that. And again, you'll see here from the wake lock detector, it's not going to show you anything because it doesn't think it's asleep. Uh, I did have a few crashes. The crashes, force crashes, unfortunately, this process, com.android, in-call UI. Uh, this was pretty cool. Um, I said it because as soon as I posted I got an answer back from the developer. Um, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, I think his name is Jesco. But uh, he was very quick to tell me to turn off intrusive calling in the call application, in the phone application. And that worked. That crash did not come up again. To note, every time I've had a crash, I've posted a log cat, I sent them the link, and I get a response pretty quickly. The forms are very, very friendly uh, for this ROM. This is what you get from a clean install. You get 10,748. This is on Dalvik. Uh, this is an example of... Uh, want his information there but uh, this is an example of what it does with the icon for somebody who's not recognized okay uh, going through here again this is typical battery life 22 hours off the charger I got 38 percent you can see I unplugged it overnight doing my overnight tests and it just you know I use my phone a lot and you can kind of judge down here from the screen on time and you'll see I had it on for three hours and 18 minutes so for three hours and 33 hours in 18 minutes, 38%. Not exactly the best, but it's not terrible either. Um, I have seen better and I have seen worse. Okay. Here's six hours and five minutes. Again, this is off the charger overnight. Okay. And it was still at 100%, by the way. This is another uh, crash that I had. This was after. Uh, installing uh, nightly and then going back and resetting up my home pages and as soon as I tried to do my super widget it crashed again I sent a log cat uh, they were very responsive this is another benchmark and this one was done on art not a big difference in speed um, which is unusual so I'm not sure what they got going on with the Dalvik but the Dalvik and the art not a big difference in speed this was showing you the temperature the phone was at uh, when I ran the test I ran it again and uh, you know, 10,172. Again, if you look down here, uh, CPU is at 38 degrees when I ran this one, and it wasn't much warmer when I ran that one. So that's what you get with your benchmarks. Um, talk about free RAM. On a, on a fresh reboot, you'll have 1.2, 1.3 gigs. Um, and after you've used it for a few hours, it'll usually hover around uh, 0.9 and 0.8 gigs of free RAM. I'm not going to go into my spiel because you know what I mean about free RAM. Some people care, some people don't. This is for those that care. Okay. Um, what else can I say about this ROM? GPS. Uh, I will admit, after I updated to the, the latest nightly, the one that was on Friday's nightly, uh, I had to uh, clear the data in my GPS to get to work, but it wasn't a big deal, and it did work after that. Um, so, just worth noting. But after that, it does uh, lock relatively quickly, and tra it tracks accurately once it gets a lock. Uh, I will comment on the camera. The camera shutter speed is, is unacceptably slow, in my opinion. Uh, maybe I've just been too lenient, uh, and then going back and forth from these stock-based ROMs to, to these ROMs, uh, these AOKP-based AOKP ROMs, but the uh, shutter speed is extremely slow. You have to hold your phone for, uh, you know, in my opinion, way too long. You're missing the moment in a lot of these pictures, but um, it, it's just taking a long time for that shutter to capture the picture. But it, it does work, and the pictures it captures uh, do look pretty good. So I showed you Omni Switch. Omni Switch is the same way as it works in the other Omni ROMs or ROMs that have included Omni Switch now. Uh, once you um, engage it, I recommend doing a reboot, and then you'll see it. Uh, play around with it. I find it works best when it's down here in a place where I don't typically swipe when I had up here I was pulling it up uh, by accident Doing the same thing I was doing with the gesture uh, and why I got rid of gesture commands um, I did not notice the phone getting hot um, Not extensively anyways, and that was nice. That was a, a breakaway from the last ROM that I reviewed uh, it stayed relatively warm uh, during heavy usage, but didn't get hot and didn't slow down. A2DP. 
let's talk about HTTP. Um, in the Kia Uvo, it works fine. In the My4 Touch, it does not. However, text messaging support on the Ford Sync, My4 Touch Sync, didn't work at first. But for some reason, after time, it started working this morning with no changes because I had tested it with um, the nightly from Thursday and the nightly from Friday and it was not working. But then this morning, randomly, uh, I'm literally pulling into work and it worked. Um, so I was very shocked, but it did. A2DP, I tested it again just to be on the safe side because I know text messaging was working and it still did not work. So it does not send metadata to the unit. It does stream Bluetooth. So when I say that, I'm not saying it's not going to stream Bluetooth. It does stream audio over Bluetooth, and the audio you get is clear um, and sounds good, but it does not send the metadata to the head unit. So uh, that's probably whatever's pulling from uh, paranoid Android side of it, because I think that's the only ROM really where I've consistently seen, uh, consistently seen it not populating the metadata. Again, you won't have Halo in here, so, so uh, you know, maybe it'll be included some other time. Um, and for them pulling off a Pi, or pulling off Paranoid Android, there's no Pi, there's no Pi options in there, and not even the new Pi. Probably will come. Um, this ROM is, is very early, it's very fresh uh, as far as its 4.4.2 version. Now, I'm going to give you the link to the XDA site where the form is for this ROM. Uh, you're not going to find it where you would think you would find it, which would be in Original Android Development. It is in, I believe it's either the 801 or the 802 form. I want to say the 802 form. And, uh, but it does work for the D800, and there are nightly builds produced by Jenkins and uploaded. And again, when you go to the site, don't get confused. It doesn't tell you it's KitKat, but it is KitKat. Um, the the uh, developer for this ROM, he's very friendly. Uh, or at least he seems very responsive. Uh, it's it's a pretty good form. It's a pretty short form, so it's not 500, 600, 700 pages. So it's not going to kill you to go back and read some. Um, for all the problems that uh, I saw early early on, I did not see anything but positive. For the most part, positive afterwards. Uh, of course, it's been reported already about the uh, double tap to to uh, sleep or double tap to wake. Sorry. Uh, after the reboot, and uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that has been commented on, and the no sleep, at least from what it's reporting to the battery stats, has been reported as well. If you have problems, please use an application to record those problems. I use syslog. It's very easy. You open it up. I just go ahead and do all logs. You take that log, and I just send mine to my Dropbox folder, and then I give the link to the developer so they can access it, and um, I put them all in the same place. Hopefully you found this ROM useful. Uh, this is the last time uh, you'll see video quality like this. Uh, I think I'm going to hold off on doing my next ROM review until the new camera comes in. Uh, I did order one. I am very excited to get it, and it will be here either Tuesday or Wednesday. So Tuesday or Wednesday, I will have the next ROM ready to be reviewed, or at least the install video for the next ROM ready to be reviewed. Review depends on how my day goes for the rest of the day and the rest of tomorrow. Um, whether I will use this camera again or grab the iPhone and do an install video. Uh, a lot of good ROMs, a lot of stock based good ROMs are coming, uh, but don't jump on too early because there's an LG Pro 2 ROM that is still in its infancy and in being developed that I am looking forward to testing uh, once some of these bugs uh, get worked out. And I know for a fact that my 4G and my Wi-Fi is going to work. And one of the main draws to that ROM, of course, being the knock code, and that's not working currently. So, uh, again, like I said, it's in its infancy. I do expect to see a lot of great things from it, and hopefully that'll probably, I'm leaning more towards being my next ROM, unless somebody releases another international-based ROM um, that has some tweaks built into it, like a MyHub, that'll allow us to do things like remove the sliders without exposed, because... Exposed does not work with the LG G2 KitKat releases yet. Um, but when version 2.5 drops, that'll change. And it'll be a lot more exciting to use stock-based ROMs. If you found this video useful, like it. If you have something you want to ask about it, I'm probably going to be running this, this ROM for a couple more days. So feel free to ask questions, and I will get back to you as soon as I can.